Hi, it's Chef Rick, and today I'm making baked camembert. So this is a camembert. This is how you will buy them. They all come pretty much packed like this, no matter which brand you choose. Uh, open the box, take off that outside layer, put it back in the box, and then using a sharp knife, but just using the tip of a sharp knife, you want to cut out the center of the top. So the top is just like um, a rind on the cheese. All the rind is edible absolutely fine uh, but you're removing this top bit because we want to make the rest of it almost like a like a dish like a bowl that's going to hold the rest and this is what we're going to dunk into ultimately so just take a little bit of time peeling off the uh, the top layer of rind again if there are little tiny bits there let them be for the purpose of this and for you know to make it look really pretty i'd get uh, as much of it as i can off but don't worry at all the best top tip there is don't go right to the edge, leave a little bit like a rim, like I've left. Some garlic, just gonna top and tail a garlic clove and peel it. And then with the garlic, what we're gonna do is just slice it nice and thin. But we're not going to mince it um, or chop it too thin because we want to get nice little chunks uh, of garlic. So just like that. There you go. Uh, rosemary. We want to take the sprigs off the rosemary. So if you think of the middle of the rosemary as like the like a trunk, like a tree trunk, the sprigs are little branches that come off the side. So if you just see like that, look, you see the side bit there? So if you just take that bit off, then the sprig stays as one piece, yet you're not using all that middle um, core. Stalk, branch, you know what I'm saying. You don't need it. Um, and now we just take our camembert and stick the garlic in there as much or as little as you want. All that garlic you saw me prep at the, minute was, uh, at the beginning was for two camemberts. If you like baked camembert, chances are you're probably going to like garlic as well so put as much or as little in as you like but you're just going to stick those garlic um, slices halfway in to the cheese and then do the same with the rosemary space it around just because it looks nice and again you can put as much or as little rosemary and garlic in as you wish some extra virgin olive oil just on the top and then that goes into an oven at 180 for around about 20 minutes so you're going to put it oh yeah the uh, you see how the the lid of the box i put it back around the bottom again it just keeps everything together it looks nice uh stops everything leaking out it's just kind of it's a smart way to present it um but as i said that's going to go into a 180 degree oven for about 20 minutes whilst that's in the oven anything that you want to dunk in this uh i just like old school french uh, baguette but you can chop up any vegetables or any different type of bread or anything else you want but i think keep this simple here we go after 20 minutes here's what you're dealing with serve them pretty much immediately uh, usually between two people as a starter because for one person on its on their own as a starter it's pretty filling but look at that it's absolutely beautiful um the garlic and the rosemary is infused into that soft melting french cheese you can just keep on dunking when you get a little piece of garlic it's absolutely delicious uh, because you didn't use the whole rosemary stalk you can eat the rosemary you can eat the garlic it's fantastic it's delicious one of my favorites i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope you make it yourself and i'll see you on the next one